Hi everyone, I am back with Capricorn's reading for the month of June. We're gonna begin with the sign of Capricorn. We've done all of the previous signs before Capricorn. We've done, let's see, we started with Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and now we're doing Capricorn. And the next four zodiac signs I will do tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna shuffle these cards five times. We're gonna ask God, universe, the energy around us, the angels, our guides, our ancestors, all the spirits to give us the messages for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. What are the messages for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June? Sorry, there's a card here that is not in. It's upright instead of <laughs> face down. So we're going to shuffle these cards five times for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. And we ask all the energies around us to give us the messages we need to receive for the sign of Capricorn. Um, that's my first shuffle. This is my second because the other shuffle got kind of like interfered with a face-up card. <laughs> this is my third shuffle. And again, this is for the month of June 4th. And fifth. So let's see what's happening for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. If you have any negative cards, Capricorn, I will be throwing out clarifiers. I'm going to be using the Tarot of the Grand Lux to get your clarifiers. I'm using my favorite tarot deck given to me by my son. I will also be posting the weeklies on TikTok. So go to Abundantly Spiritual 333. I'm going to be posting weeklies today, but I'm going to use my very old tarot deck that I haven't used in a while. I think I'm going to be using the dragons tarot, the tarot of the dragons, okay? So anyway, let's see what's happening for uh, Capricorn for the month of June. What's happening for Capricorn for the month of June? Show me the cards I need to see for the sign of Capricorn. What is happening for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June? One just flipped out, another one flipped out and fell to the ground. Oh my Lord. So we got two cards. The first card we got is temperance, balancing out your energies, being guided by the angels, knowing that things are going to take a little bit of time, but they're going to happen, right? Temperance is like, don't worry, things are going to work itself out. You just got to give things time, right? Let's see what else is here. We have a card that's face down. So both of these cards were face down. We got the Eight of Cups, walking away from situations that no longer serve you, saying goodbye, see you later. It doesn't work for me. I need to balance myself out, right? So Walking away from persons, things, or situations that don't give you the same energy you put in. If you're putting in energy and they're not giving it to you, temperance is saying, let it go because it needs to be balanced, right? And that's a good message. What else is happening for Capricorn for the month of June? What else is happening for Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn? We got justice. That's right. After you walk away is when you find your justice. When you walk away from situations that don't serve you, we got justice in both ways. We got the angels telling you there will be a balance. There will be things made right. There will be justice. Justice is saying, hey, things are going to work out. You just got to have faith, right? Walk away from situations so that don't serve you. Cut them out. Let them go, right? Because if they don't serve you, then it's time to move away from it, okay? What else is happening for Capricorn for the month of June? The scales need to be balanced. What else is happening for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June? We got another card that came out, and this card is the Four of Swords. Okay, taking time for yourself, resting, pulling back your energy. When something is in balance, you pull back your energy, you look at it carefully, and you decide, am I going to keep on with this or not? And if it's something that you have been dealing with for a while, and you know, hey, it's not going to work, we're not balanced, the situation is not coming out the right way, it's time for me to move on, right? What else is happening for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June? What else is happening for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June? Ooh, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Home, family, your finances, really working with that, balancing out your money, making more money, or creating more abundance in your energy, okay? Um, sometimes we have to pull back from things that are not letting us create energy and focus ourselves in things that are going to create abundance energy, the, in things that are going to create abundance, the things that are going to bring us stability, okay? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn here? Okay, we got one card that fell out. We got the Seven of Wands, keeping issues at bay. 
If it's an issue, if someone is bringing issue, you're going to keep them away. You're going to be like, that's it. No more issues. I'm working on my stability. I'm working on my abundance. I'm not dealing with stuff that, you know what, doesn't give me the same energy. If you're working with, sometimes you have boundaries too. Having boundaries and keeping issues at bay and keeping troublesome people at bay or keeping the competition away too. Hey, you know what, I'm not dealing with you. You're not in my level. You stay right where you're at, right? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? Yeah, two of pentacles, balancing yourself, balancing your emotions. Um, there are going to be times where you're going to feel like you're a little bit emotionally drained, emotionally imbalanced, but I see you working yourself out of this, okay? Because I feel that things are going to be working out for you. Two of pentacles is balancing yourself out, balancing the energies, balancing your money, and doing what you have to to keep things moving forward, right? Um, temperance is telling you, don't worry, give things time, walk away from situations that don't bring you stability, take time for yourself, focus on your home, your family, your stability, uh, know that you're going to keep away the issues, you're going to find boundaries, you're going to have boundaries, and you're going to balance yourself out, okay, there is here balancing yourself out, and balancing out your money, the two of pentacles is not always bad, it depends what comes after and before, what else is coming out for the sign of Capricorn for this month. What else? What other energies do we see for the sign of Capricorn for this month? For June, at least. Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. You came into your own reading. You're going to be emotionally stable. You're going to be stable financially. You know, you're going to, even if you feel like you're trying to balance things out, I feel like in the long run, you're going to bring that stability to yourself and you're going to have more than enough to give to others. Okay. You're going to be really in your own energy. You're going to be feeling good. You know, you're going to be in your own power. You're going to be very loving, caring, and stable. Okay. Moving forward, even though at times you feel like, oh my God, things are not happening my way. It happens sometimes, you know, this is life. Every day comes and every day comes with its own gifts or its own issues. And we need to balance ourselves out, right? What else is happening for the sign of Capricorn? Yeah, we got the nine of cups feeling completely emotionally stable within yourself. No matter how many burdens come, right? No matter how many issues, no matter how many burdens come into your um, energy, you know that, hey, you know what? I have the stability and the emotional, I have the financial stability and the emotional stability to what? Overcome any struggles, all right? You just gotta have faith in yourself. What else is going on here for the sign of Capricorn? Yeah, we got the King of Swords, making sure you cut out any unnecessary things that no longer, you know, balance you out or unnecessary issues, cut them out. Um, you know, be direct, be honest in regards to the things that are causing you burden or things that are causing you heaviness. Be honest with people, right? We're going to pull out one more card and we're going to call it an end because then that's it for your feeding Capricorn. Seems like you're going to have a pretty stable June month. You're going to be focused on your finances. You're going to be trying to balance certain financial things out. You are having something work out for you, okay? If there's a situation that is not in, you know, that's not balanced, it's not giving you the same energy. We have judgment here. We got justice. It's going to be cut out either way or it has to come in balance or you're going to be walking away. If there's something that's not back and forth and you're feeling like, hey, this person doesn't give me the same energy I do. I'm putting too much work to it. You're going to cut it out. You're definitely going to beat the competition. You're definitely going to be, you know, in your, you're going to have boundaries and you're not going to put up with issues or problems that are going to keep you, that are going to make you imbalanced. You're going to stabilize yourself. I see a lot of times you're going to have the stability, the love, the warmth. You're going to have the growth you're looking for. You're going to be emotionally stable, and that's going to help you um, overcome your struggles and be more straightforward. Hey, I'm not dealing with this, okay? So that is your energy for the month of June. We'll get one more card for Capricorn. One more card. If you have one more card to give, yeah, four pentacles. Putting, putting, pulling your way, pulling away your energy from anything that doesn't serve you. It came under the um, seven of wands. So definitely pulling away your energy from any way or anything. And, you know, really, really saving on your money, your finances, your pentacles, and working on that and pulling your energy away. If it's not for me, if it doesn't work for me, then I'm pulling my energy away. If it doesn't come in stable, if it doesn't come in balance with an equal give and take, I'm not taking it any further. Okay, so that is your energy for the month of June. Seems like you're going to have a wonderful month. Okay, back and forth here and there. But guess what? You still work things out. And you're letting go of any situation or person that's not working for you. Now, your negative cards, I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to pull out the um, Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, 
Eight of Cups, okay? Let me see what else I can pull out here. The Four of Swords is not really negative, but it is holding back. So we're going to pull out the Four of Swords. And we are going to pull out the Four of Pentacles because both of these cards are about holding back. And you got the number, let's see what you got. You got a lot of fours here. So look up 444. Um, so there's a lot of numbers here with four also, okay? So look up 444. Yeah, look up the 444, okay? Yes, look that up in angel numbers. We're going to bring clarifier in for these cards. We're going to start with um, uh, the Eight of Cups. What are you walking away from? What situation or what is it that you're walking away from? We're going to focus on the Eight of Cups right now and see what the energy is for the Eight of Cups. What is, I already shuffled these. Why, is Cap, why does Capricorn have the Eight of Cups here? Why does Capricorn have the Eight of Cups here? You have the Eight of Cups because you're in an Eight of Swords energy, meaning you're walking away from anything that makes you feel stuck. You're walking away from anything that, you know, you, you held on to when you didn't have to. You know, you don't have to hold on to anything. You're going to see things clearly. You're going to be able to walk away from this energy where you feel stuck and like things are not working out in your favor, okay? You're walking away from that and you're going to see things in a more positive light. Um, eight of Cups walking away from the from the Eight of Swords, okay? Oh, we got a lot of eight energy. We got eight, eight, eight on the table. Look up eight, eight, eight and four, 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 okay? So I feel like you're going to be walking away from feeling stuck, from feeling like things are not working out your way, from overthinking or staying in situations that don't work out your way. You're gonna walk away from it. If you feel stuck or you feel like things are not moving forward, you're gonna walk away from that type of energy. Whether it be a person, thing, or situation, you're going to be like, no, I'm not dealing with it. I'm moving away in a different direction. If I gave it all these cups, there's no there's no reason for me to stay stuck there anymore. I'm the only one keeping myself there. Okay, wonderful, wonderful message there. Okay, what is going on with the Four of Swords? Why is the Four The Four of Swords is not necessarily a bad card. It's actually a good card because that means you're taking time to listen to your intuition and you're pulling back your energy whenever you feel heavily burdened, Okay. Why is the Four of Swords here for the sign of Capricorn? Why is the Four of Swords here for the sign of Capricorn? The world, yes, a completion. Deciding, hey, you know what? I'm not giving anything that doesn't work in my, that doesn't go my way energy. I'm not. If it's ended, if it's completed, if it's not serving me and I have done away with it, I'm not, I'm not giving my energy. I'm pulling it away. I'm pulling away from it and I'm working on myself. So that's a great energy to be in. The world card means the completion of a cycle and no longer the four of swords giving it any more energy. You're moving in a new direction. You're taking time to recuperate and move on from this completion, okay? Why is the ten of wands here? Why is the ten of wands here for the sign of Capricorn? Why is the ten of wands? The ten of wands is here because of the empress. So it feels like you're going to be having a lot of you're going to work a lot when it comes to your company. There is a company coming in here or there is something that you want growth in. You want to grow. You're going to have to put in the work and the energy. If you're working in a company, you're going to have to be putting in a lot of work and energy, but there will be a lot of growth, a lot of greatness coming in with that. If you are working with whatever you want to grow and, and, and build, right? The Empress is all about stability and building, okay? The Empress is always pregnant. That's the baby because whatever she's putting her energy on is growing. It's working, right? And that means that you're going to have to put in all the work. So I feel that whatever you're putting your energy in, in the long run, it is going to work out. It is going to be a lot of growth there. But you have to put in the work, okay? Then we got the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the sign of Capricorn? Why is the Seven of Wands here for the sign of Capricorn? Why is the Seven of Wands here for the sign of Capricorn? Give me the cards I need to see. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the sign of Capricorn? Why is the Seven of Wands here for the sign of Capricorn? Well, we got too many cards. We're going to put them back, okay? There's too many cards here. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the sign of Capricorn? One to two cards. I'm not taking more of that. We got the Seven of Wands for the Page of Swords. Okay, there is someone here that is probably, uh, you know, kind of immature, kind of like straight. They're, they, you know, they say things, you know, very quickly without even thinking of it. They're kind of immature. I think you're going to have boundaries towards anyone who comes in with that immature energy or that energy of thinking they know it all or that energy of... 
um, you know, saying things without reflecting. You're going to cut them out. You're going to stop the problem right from the beginning. You're going to be like, nope, I'm not dealing with it. Okay. And, um, could be someone who needs to make, you know, who needs to say what they need to say and, and in disregards to what anyone else thinks. So you're not, you're not going to be dealing with that type of energy. You're like, no, 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 I'm not dealing with this. So you're going to be very direct when it comes to any issue or anyone start trying to start issue or anyone trying to be like, say the last word. You're going to be like, no, I'm not tolerating that. I, I have boundaries and you're going to have to abide by my boundaries. Okay. So that is why the seven of wands is coming out. Why is the four of pentacles here for the sign of Capricorn? Why is the four of pentacles here for the sign of Capricorn? We got two cards. The four of pentacles is here because of the seven of wands. You're, you know, you're like, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this chaotic communication or communi or energy coming towards me that so it could be someone with passionate energy towards you. It could be someone who wants to win at all costs or be right or, or, or have the last word or someone who feels like, you know, I'm right and um, they're very passionate about what they feel and you're saying, hey, you know, I'm not dealing with this. I will pull back my energy. You can go ahead and argue to yourself. You can deal with your own repercussions. I don't need to deal with it. So I'm going to put my boundaries up. So this is the type of energy that you're having this month. You're going to put up, you're not going to tolerate with a lot this month. Um, you're going to see movement forward. You're going to see growth, even though you're going to feel like you're putting in a lot of work. But you know what? In the long run, you're going to be like the empress. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever new career or maybe in your company or new businesses or whatever you started working on and you're putting a lot of work in it is going to grow into something big all right capricorn that is your message for the month of june thanks for listening have a great month and a great week bye bye